Coach, you're going to be pretty pleased once again. You jumped out to a, a, you know, a good start. Um, well, not quite as polished as maybe the first two games, but I don't know if that's. I don't know what that was, but I mean. But well, I, I'll, I'll bail you out a little bit. I think Please. I think that um, uh, the first two games we played teams that played with a couple of post players. This game we played against four guards and one post most of the night, and it gave us a little bit of uh, matchup situations. Even even when we were playing our matchup zone, it still gave us some issues with cutters and so forth. So so I think that was a little bit of the. Um, uh, for lack of a better term, the awkwardness of the game. Uh, however, I think the one thing that I, I love tonight is that we shared the ball for the third straight game. Uh, Twenty-some assists on 32 baskets. So, you know, anytime your team's more than willing to pass it to each other, you've got, you've got an opportunity if you've got some talent, and we definitely have some talent. So, um, I wasn't quite sure if we got as ready to play this game tonight. And, and some of that is, you know, you've got opening weekend and there's games going on all day and there's all this activity and, and energy in the gym and we talked about that uh, just now that you know did you get as ready to play tonight as you did Friday and Saturday and, and I had to explain it was a rhetorical question you know I did not want a real answer and did you give the same effort on defense every possession tonight that you did on Friday and Saturday and what I wanted them to get out of that was that they would learn that that's what's important game after game after game. You've heard me say a thousand times, the basketball season is a marathon, not a sprint. And so you have to learn to get something out of every game. Uh, you know, I'd much rather learn from a win, though. And, you know, I went in, hey, I'm happy. You know, we won. The good guys won. So, so we move on to our next opponent. You know, one of the things, you know, with Garrick or Gano, we have, you know, known quantities. We know what we have with that. You and I talked in the preseason, and one of the things you mentioned to me was the improvement of Amanda Ruffner and how, you know, we look forward to what you see out of her. She's a lot more confident, more comfortable. And I thought, boy, it showed tonight. I mean, she, to me, is just getting better and better. I think she showed some signs in the first two games of really coming out of her shell, maybe, so to speak. But tonight, you know, getting on the board, she'll play some defense, block some shots, rebound, score for you. Um, really, I think, is a coming off. And, and one of the keys to a, a season and how it goes is how can your other players fill in some roles? And I think that she's going to be a key one. Well, I, you know, I think that, that Amanda has now become a viable player. Last year, I wasn't sure she was a viable player. So now we don't hesitate to put her in. Uh, she brings different things than, you know, either Emily or Haley bring. Uh, sometimes we go with a three-post rotation, and sometimes we use Kelly Joe. And I think Kelly Joe has, has gotten some really good minutes these three games as well. But Amanda is, uh, is I think, starting to, to click a little bit about what's going on out there and what we're really trying to get done. And, uh, you know, I, I, the thing I also like about these three games, to go a different direction for a second, is I think we're... We're getting, we're figuring out an identity a lot quicker than you usually do. How we'd like to play defensively, how we'd like to play offensively, and so forth. And, uh, you know, we get into league play pretty quick here coming up, so we, we need to know who the heck we are. And that was one, one more thing, you know, Thursday night, another non conference uh, game with Ohio Valley before you get ready for starting league play on Saturday. Yeah, and, you know, Ohio Valley's probably, they've been tested. They, they went out to Southern Indiana and played, and, uh, they played them in Oakland out of Indiana, and uh, I believe tonight they're playing IUP. So, you know, they're not going to walk in and be, uh, like, in, in awe of anything, you know. So, uh, and I know their coach very, very well. He's a great guy and does a wonderful job uh, with that program. So, uh, but right now we're a lot more concerned about us. Uh, we saw several things tonight that uh, we wrote down during the game that we feel like we really need to zero in uh, tomorrow night and try to get better at.